In this video, we're going to look at the different project types. We've got advanced project wizard, and we've got an empty project wizard. Let's go ahead and look at the empty project wizard. We have our three options, a local project, which will run on a single machine, a distributed project, which runs on a server and client architecture, and we've got project with redundant servers, where you can have one or more extra servers for redundancy. Let's give it a useful name. And that's all there is in this wizard. So let's go ahead and press cancel. Now let's take a look at the advanced project wizard. We have the option here for the same projects as before. We're going to use a local project. Give it a useful name. And then we can actually pre-create our screens. So we can set the number of screens we want to create, the width, the height. If I put this as one, you can see these are no longer grayed out. If we go next, we have the option to create some alarm prototypes and some historian prototypes. So that's the differences between the advanced wizard and the empty project wizard. Thanks for watching.